welcome to Wigan RC and thanks for joining us again and today the age-old problem of fuel pumps filling up your turbines your gases your your whatever you've got two stroke um, 3d planes whatever with fuel and I'm trying to come up with a solution and today I went to the auto um, um, store and I bought a car fuel pump. This is the one I bought. Um, it's the Goss 12 volt fuel pump. And inside the package here, you get the pump. Um, and you've got your negative, positive um, fuel pumps. And then I also purchased um, the tailpiece, male, there's the size. And that's these little brass fittings here um, to connect on both sides. Now, these pumps, um, they flow in one direction. So as you can see, the arrow there, that's the flow from this side out to that side. And what I'm planning to do is basically mount this fuel tank with um, a filter. This is, this is a car filter, but I may just get a normal filter and then I'm just going to, I've got some Tygon fuel pump uh, here and then somehow kind of try and jimmy up, let me try and open this with one hand. What I'll do is I'll have a clunk, this is an old Pilot RC um, fuel tank, what I'll do is inside my jerry can I'll have um, a clunk filter connected and filling up my um, plane with Tygon fuel. I'll heat up this, as you can see here, I'll heat up this um, Tygon so that I get over this one eighth of an inch, um, what do they call them? Um, I forgot the name of them. Um, anyway, this fitting here, I'll, I'll, I'll heat this up so it goes over this and then I'll, I can just tie it with cable ties just to keep it tight. So, um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add an XT60 to this and then start the assembly. So what I've done here is done a simple inline switch into um, a plate of ply and I've also put um, a voltmeter so I can see what voltage the battery is at and then I've done a hole that's basically going to fit around the cap of the jerry can and as you can see all I've done is I've hooked up the pump with a filter just in case there's anything um, there's also a clunk um, in the bottom of there as well. Now, before I was just using a simple Hobby King um, pump two-way valve. That will be probably my next thing, how I'm going to um, obviously empty fuel as well as put fuel in. So the choice is to have a Festo fitting and just clip the, the pipes around in the opposite direction to empty the tank or to fill. So let me basically tidy up this, which is gonna fit across there, and then screw down the pump. The pump seems quite quiet, and then we'll go from there. So here is the finished product. So as you can see what I've done, I've covered the plate with a bit of carbon wrap, just to make it a bit tidier. tidier. Here is a three cell 8000 battery that is just connected with an XT60. And I've got a fuel filter here. So at least any little bits will be trapped as well as a clunk filter in the tank. And then in here, I've just put a little switch and carbon wraps is coming off. Little switch there and just a voltmeter for my 3S battery, so 12.1 volts. 
and here is obviously my fill and then I should be able to get roughly 130 litres per hour flow rate out of this pump. Now let me just take this off and I will put this into there. Alright, so that's there and then let's turn on this pump. Right, so as you can hear that's the volume of noise and if we look here there is the flow rate so turn this off so plenty of um, power to fill up your jets or your planes now this has cost me um, about $55 um, and that was including the pump which was $44 um, this was a better than um, some of the fuel pumps that you can get off eBay for $20 this one was $44 so but you could use the other one which is perfectly fine and then just the adapters bit of fuel line the filter was $5 and um, yeah oh yeah and this is a Dubro um, cap that I just drilled a hole into the top of the can and I basically screwed the top down on top of the plate so there you go a quick and easy um, DIY fuel system and the reason I did this was because um, as you'll see on some of the hobby stores you can pay for anything from two to four hundred and fifty dollars for a fueling system for your jets so this was a great great um alternative and obviously so a lot lot better than just the turner g um fuel pump now one thing we must bear in mind is that this is a solid state um electric um, fuel pump so it only flows in one direction so my version two to get around that is simply to switch these two pipes around to, to take the fuel out of the aircraft. Now what I'm gonna do in my version two is I'm simply gonna put a Festo fitting or some sort of quick release here and some sort of quick release here and then I can basically run a, run the um, this round to this side and then this round to this side. So then that would be fully, fully putting fuel back into the tank. So a little bit um, cumbersome, I'm gonna have a think about it, but for now um, my main issue was just finding a quick and cheap, easy way to fill up my jet without um, having to spend, you know, $400, you know, plus on, on, on the fancy fuel systems. So as I said, this is just a cheap and easy um, solution that I could whip together in, a, in, a, in an hour or so um, just to find a quick solution before I look at anything else. So anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and yeah, I'd like to thank Tim Morland um, who gave me the idea for this um, because he's done a similar version with two dual pumps and I just wanted to try and do my own version. So thanks a lot for Tim for helping me think out how I was going to um, structure it. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next one.